Alright guys welcome back to the channel once again and today we're gonna be talking about this library vcard.js so this library is useful let's suppose you have a user data and you want like uh, someone can download that user data from the website like some kind of uh, card we want to create for that so someone can download that data and save into his contact list or history or somewhere else so they can do it easily so just need they need to click on a button over there you will put, make design a button over there and on click of that button that card will get loaded and it will look like something like this is the macbook ui so it will look like something this so it will be saved with the like whatever the feeds you will provide over there so same feeds gonna be embedded over here and it will all also prefill the data into that it will look like this something kind of and this is how this library works so let me just go through with that and let me just show you so first you need to install this library so you can yarn add if you are using the yarn otherwise you can do npm install for that and this is for the node.js like this has to use the fs like file system for the saving this uh, file so that's why this code is written in node.js but you can use in react.js as well you just need to do npm install and after that vcard.js if import from vcard.js or something something that you need to do after that you need to do the same thing as well till here you need to do the same thing as it is like whatever is written over there after that you just need to create one link tag downloadable link tag like we do into the document.html like document.create element and a tag and after that put a link over there of this so vc card provide a link to you so that link you need to put inside that a tag and after that you need to make that link to downloadable and it will download the card for you so let me just show you into the code sandbox and you will just get to know about this one so this is what i'm talking about so there's a link so this code is written on js file so what you need to do just you need to so till over here all the process is same followed but after this one you can see the document dot create element is done over here like a tag is created and after that link element dot set attribute so attribute you need to set href like this is the link you need to set after that you need to make this card downloadable so download equals to you can put the name over here and also you can make it custom name like you can use template string so it's gonna be dynamic okay and after that you just need to put some other variable if you want to put that so this is the style dot display is written over here so which means like it won't be displayed into your ui but it link gonna be clickable like it will be hidden but it will be clickable you can click on this just be so like over here you can see it's append into the document and after that you are just clicking on that so it will go with the like uh, sync one by one so once you will call this function it will do all the things the code is written over here exactly and once you click on this button so let me just show you click on this button so it's uh, okay my server like download is blocked for multiple things so just let me enable it so after that just you will need to click on and you can see the card one is downloaded okay so after if i open it so this is my macbook so you can see it's coming like this one so the name is coming and if i put some uh, like uh, let me just put some uh, data over here last name is written over here so vc dot cell phone equals to two three four five six something something and after that just vcf dot email equals to a b c a b c at the rate dot com okay now let's try this one so i have downloaded it and if i want to make it import so i the it asks a question or you can see i have put my cell phone number so cell phone is automatically goes into the mobile and if i put the email address it goes into the home so it will automatically get your all the data from there and it will just paste it as it is over here and you can just save it okay so it has been already added so i am just going to delete this one card this card from here so this is how you can just download the contact from somewhere or if you have created this kind of optimization like this kind of feature into your website and so someone can come on to your like he has multiple links into his uh, uh, contact manager but he want to download those things into his local system and he can want to save those things so he can do that easily so he can just download those cards and it will be saved into his contact manager over here so that's how it works so it's very easy and if you want to check out this one i will put the link into the description for this package otherwise you can just uh, search this one vcard.js 
but the code is written in Node.js, but you, you need to convert it into the React.js. So you just need to import, just change the import version. Like this is uh, used by require, but you need to do from from like import vc vcard.js from uh, this vcard.js. Okay, so that's how. And after that, you need to do the same feature, same scenario like vcard, and you need to initialize this function. And after that, you need to do all the process uh, process. Sorry. So that's how, that's it from this video. I hope you guys like this video and if you learn something from this video, please hit the like button, do subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much guys. Thank you for watching. I'll meet you in the next video.